Sendai, the Sendai framework. And in many ways, you know, the monitoring process is very critical at the beginning of these frameworks, not least because it starts to lay down a framework, a, a baseline. You know, it, it's very difficult when you're in, I remember I was in the, um, the midterm review of the Hyogo framework. And the question was, you know, we're in 2010, five years into the Hyogo framework, how effective is the Hyogo framework in, in bringing about the change that it was trying to bring about? And the question that was immediately posed within that midterm review, well, what was the baseline in 2005? And of course, we didn't really have that baseline laid down in 2005. So I think one of the key strategic things that needs to be done going forward as we move into a 15-year time frame of the Sendai framework is that we need to know what those baselines are now and we particularly need to know what those baselines are at the local level because if this is about turning commitment into action then the rubber hits the road so to speak